Hello and welcome to the Wine Turtle YouTube channel. My name's Jamie and I'll be your host as we taste and review popular wines from around the world and explore the grapes and the winemaking techniques that make them special. If you've not been here before, please consider subscribing. We put out videos once or twice a week and it only takes a second. So if you follow us on Instagram, you'll be aware that I recently did a large Costco wine shop. Today we have one of those bottles of wine. It's the Kung Fu Girl Riesling, the 2021 edition. I actually tried last year's um, Kung Fu Girl Riesling and wasn't all that impressed with it, to be honest. It was a little bit sweet, not really balanced very well. Didn't have enough acidity there to really make it work. So I'm interested to see if they've sorted that out this year. So this wine comes from the Columbia Valley AVA, which is in Washington State. The vineyard is called the Evergreen Vineyard, and it's one of the largest in the area. So the Riesling grapes love the cooler climate here. Uh, they get to ripen slowly, and develop that crucial acidity and the floral and mineral characteristics. The inception of the wine, a bit of a strange story, apparently Charles Smith, it's Charles Smith Wines who make this, big on brands. So apparently Charles Smith was sitting watching um, a martial arts movie one night while he was eating Chinese food. And then a light bulb moment, why don't we make a white wine that's great to go with Chinese food or Asian food? I'm not sure if I believe it. Um, fits with the narrative of the wine. I'm pretty sure it was devised in a marketing meeting, but who knows, who knows? Um, but what it is, it, it's a cool brand. It's got a really nice label. I'll show you a close up. It's eye-catching, it looks great. I'm sure the, the younger wine drinkers will love that. Really nice looking bottle. Is it a nice wine? We're about to find out, so let's get tasting. Okay, let's get into this. So taking a look at this here, it is a medium yellow. Yeah, medium yellow color a medium straw. Stone fruits predominantly come through. Uh, there's peach there and apricot and a light citrus lime. It's not lemon, it's a bit richer, a bit deeper. I'll go with lime for that. Fairly simple, straightforward nose, very fruit driven. Um, but yeah, pleasant, pleasant for it. It's a $10 wine, so not expecting fireworks, but so far so good. Mm. So right away, there's a noticeable change with this 2021 vintage and last year's expression. Of course, last year I found a little bit too sweet, but they seem to have rectified that. The acidity has been upped, it's much more vibrant, and it gives much better balance. It's not immediately sweet like last year's version. So yeah, it's, it's a much better wine already after just a, a little taste. The palate shows consistency with the nose. Uh, you've got your stone fruit of apricot and peach comes through with lime. It's, it's a rich, richer citrus. Lemon's a bit straightforward. It, it's lime, it's a bit deeper. And it's really pleasant for it. It's a simple wine, but yeah, quite enjoyable actually. $10 wine here. Huge improvement on last year. Massive improvement. They've, uh, yeah, they've got that balance right. It's acidic this time wasn't very acidic last year or not enough acidity for sure so it's off dry still but the acidity really nice really nice and i have to say 
this would be amazing with uh, with Chinese food. So I've fallen into that marketing trap. But yeah, so far so good. So what about the score? Well, my score for the 2021 version is going to be much better than my score would have been for last year's wine. They've really sorted out the balance here. Last year's wine started sweet, ended sweet, just wasn't a terribly nice experience. This time, the acidity ties it together all the way through from start to finish, and it ends with a mouth-watering acidity, which is really pleasant. It's a fruit-driven wine, fairly simple, stone fruits, a little bit of citrus, nothing much more to it. But I have to say, it would be amazing with Chinese food. So they got this right. Um, it's a big marketing brand, this. But there's some truth behind it. Yeah, I don't believe the story, how it was uh, created, but fits with the narrative. And they're, they're selling a, a good story there. It, it would be amazing, the Chinese food. It really would. Something lightly spiced or some Thai food. It would be really good. So a score. Um, last year would have been five and a half, six, I would say. I'm going to give this one a seven. Uh, $10 wine, really nice wine for it. It's, it's, yeah, like I say with a lot of these supermarket wines, they're not gonna blow your mind, but yeah, with, with the right food, this is a really enjoyable wine. Yeah, I really recommend trying this with some Chinese food. And I would pick it up again with some right food. It'd be great. So seven out of 10, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's a half decent Riesling, this. Yeah, recommend it. Okay, until next time, see ya.